Now, you cannot deny the weather that we're getting here at the moment. For isolation, we couldn't have any better weather than this, and we should be really grateful for that. But there's one part of the garden that just doesn't get to see any of it. And that's because of Leilandii. So about two weeks ago, we started to reduce the height of the Leilandii because this side of the garden does not get any light for most of the day. By chopping them halfway down, we get about another four to five hours of sunlight in the main part of the garden. The problem is right now is that we can't actually take this bit down for one simple reason. Now is the time birds are nesting and we've got blackbirds and we've got a wood pigeons nesting in there. So we're unable to take that down at least till June now. And that's a good point to make. If you are thinking of taking down a tree or a bush, please, please, please make sure that there's no birds nesting in there. Okay, that's really important. Great tits were in the silver birch bird box within three days of it being put up, and they're still there. This is a laurel, an evergreen. And as you can see, what we've done is actually lifted the skirts. And what that means is lifting the lower branches off the floor, exposing the actual trunk. This has some advantages. One, it makes the garden look bigger. Two, it gives a nice airflow. And three, the chickens love it because it gives them shade. And in the rain, it gives them protection. Now this is an Acer. A lot of you have probably got an Acer. This one's called Orange Dream and absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. Um, what I've done with this one, like many others that I have, is I literally take the stem and clean it off until a certain point and then let the canopy grow. Traditionally with aces, you're supposed to do that. Think of an umbrella, that's how you're supposed to have it. So it's a long, clean stem to take off any buds or any growth and then then let it have its canopy. Um, this one goes up, I would normally take that off, but just for this year, I'm letting it just do its own thing, but I will keep this clean. It allows you to do little like Japanese designs underneath and everything but it keeps it nice and clean. You can even plant under it, great around water features. At the supermarkets now, or some shops that still open, you can get some reduced plants, and you look at them and you'll probably think, whoa, that is just dead. That's not gonna do anything, why should I buy that? Um, but I went to the supermarket recently and found this. This was twice the height, and basically it was in my shopping trolley, as quick as you can say, quick sticks. Basically this is an Acer, but I knew straight away that if I took this home, which I did, repotted it, literally reduced it by half, cut it to a leaf node, clean the stems up. I'm actually, I might actually take this middle one out, but there was a fourth one. I took that out. So clean stems, the canopy will grow from here. Already, I don't know if you can see, but already I've got new shoots literally all coming, budding, all leaves, everything. This is a red Acer. This was £10. As you can see here, from a well-known supermarket, um, £2.50. That is going to be stunning, I guarantee. It's a case of just knowing, if it's got a little bit green on, especially on the lower branches, get it. For two fifty, it's worth it. I'm just going to chop it right back, just above a leaf node, and bang, look after it, and it will look after you. I'll have that for years, and it is going to be stunning, I know that for a fact. 